This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level Zero NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. Or or get some of that garlic in you. Both? Or both. Yeah. That's what I... Hey, you know what? If it's got... What's it called? What's that chemical? Allison? Allison? Yeah, if it's got Allison <laughs> in it, you should take it. Really helps with the coughs. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I got personal experience with this. Mm-hmm. First, that cough that didn't go away, and then I, I swear to God, when I got COVID, I was like, "Well, I guess this is just my life now for the next three months, just endless coughing again." Mm-hmm. But no, no, didn't happen. Maybe it's still circulating in your blood, the Allison. You just it is. It's part of you now. It's part of me now. I'm part garlic. I mean, you know, when you think about it, um, law of conservation of energy and all that, um, although your body has converted it into, you know, it's sort of base <clears throat> proteins and stuff like that. You literally are what you eat. So yeah, that's true. You are garlic yeah. in part. Yeah. And and Meg got it too. So she's been actually eating extra garlic and she's been putting it in everything. So I actually am garlic still. Mm-hmm. Even still. Yeah. Like even more. You're, you're part garlic. I'm part garlic. You know, uh, Greg, our DM. Yep. Uh, about oh, I want to go ahead and say you know, fifteen, twenty years ago, on the fly, created a <laughs> an NPC for for in D and D, and we asked him his name, and Greg just on the fly came up with a cool sounding name, and he's like, he's like, my name is Garlic. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually a kind of a cool like like uh fantasy name if you you yeah. know remove it from yeah if there wasn't a food called yeah. garlic already then yeah yeah like totally. g-a-r-l-i-c-k right garlic you know kind of yeah. kind of cool right I mean, like garland there is a very popular pc character in Baldur's gate called carlac which is very close to garlic yeah so. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, it's funny cuz his name is Garlic. When when I was a child before I knew that Mongolia was a country, I uh, independently came up with Mongolia as the name <laughs> of a uh, of a kingdom. Wow. In, uh, in a D&D campaign that I was uh, playing um as DM as a child. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I think there's a, a something of a trope in um anime where characters will have just the names of mundane objects or vegetables just because it if you divorce it from its context it sounds like a cool name yeah 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 i mean like that was that's that's just a thing that like akira toriyama had been doing with like the ball the the ball skates with the dragon ball Mm -hmm. series for a very long time i also worked in a video game uh series um where like all of the characters were named after like sweets and stuff like that uh I would love to Again. see a Dragon Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Dragon Baldur's Gate. Where, Baldur's where Gate. Nice. like one of you, most of your characters are like shitty fucking five E characters, where you're like you'll roll an eleven on a trained skill and still fail, <laughs> and uh, and one person's a Dragon Ball Z character, where like you you punch someone once and the entire building turns into light. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'd be cool yeah. you know uh, when we uh, recorded this last year uh, Baldur's Gate 3 wasn't out yet hmm. it's true. well it was but in early access shut up Luke <laughs> <laughs> I mean it was <laughs> <laughs> I, I know I know I'm sorry I just wanted to say that I thought it'd be funny <laughs> That's fine. Uh, You're right. You know these things. I do. do. When Baldur's three, when Baldur's Gate three is good, it's very, very good. Um, But when it's bad, it's pretty heartbreaking. It's some. It has has some low lows. Okay, I want a low. I'm kind of curious now. Uh, I made one of my characters into a rogue. I gave him all of the rogue skills that I could. Um. He's never passed a perception check. Not one. 
<laughs> not even close. I, I have my main character is a warlock. I wanted her to be a good face character because she's all charismatic. Face skills do fine. I've got expertise in them through various means. The other trained skills, I figured they'd be like secondary skills. Never passed an arcana check. Never passed an investigate check. Your your secondary skills are meaningless. And your proficiency bonus is meaningless. Anytime it says add your proficiency to something, that's nothing. You might as well add zero because it, it will never succeed. Oh. <laughs> this is this is a fifth edition problem though. Yeah, no, that's that's not really Larian's doing, though mm. I I think um during playtesting when you're in the basement with all the firework traps and all of the DCs to see them as impossible. I think one of the playtesters should have played through that and thought to themselves, is this fun for anyone? (laughs) Because it's some of the least fun I've had, not just in a video game, but in general. (laughs) I mean, to a certain extent... There is an argument to be made that that is Larian's fault and that they set this, the DCs too high. Or uh, they just basically went like, well, you know, it's D&D, so we should still just make all our roles random. When really, nobody actually wants real random. <laughs> they have a like, pseudo... If you implement true randomness into a role, like, everyone's going to be unhappy. They had a, a karmic dice thing where it prevents streaky rolls. So, like, um, mm-hmm. it'll prevent um, a lot of high rolls in a row or a lot of low rolls in a row. I turned it off almost immediately because there's so many moments where, like, read this necromancy tome, make four saving throws in a row. But because the saving throws get harder as you go to continue reading this evil tome, uh, the karmic dice will make it impossible because you need several good rolls in a row in order to do it. Mm. So it'll become statistically impossible to succeed because it's going to not let you get on a winning streak with it. Right. Um, and I, I actually agree with you, Luke. I think Larian should on occasion have strayed from 5e a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that said... I, I respect the choice to do so, but like... I mean, and and it revived the age-old fucking discourse around save scumming and stuff like that. But um, at the end of the day, like, really, you just kind of want people to have fun Mm -hmm. playing your game? Mm -hmm. Like, call me crazy. Uh, But, like, maybe Uh, it's just more fun to let players have fun. uh, I mean, Larian controversial opinion. Larian did make some very nice changes to the rule set for like quality of life stuff and there are a few times playing the game where i was like while playing it i was like i understand why people like fifth edition like there was a few moments where like that that ruled i get why people like this um but uh yeah uh if you think your character is going to be good at two different things you're mistaken you're going to be good at exactly (laughs) one that's why you got four characters so yeah Although traditionally in Baldur's Gate you had a party of six, not anymore. Might be nope. might be a nope. little more doable with a party of six. Maybe I'll put a mod in for something like that. Yeah, there, are, there is a mod that allows you to have a party of up. To think I think it was like forty or something like that. So <laughs> six is very accomplishable. No. Anyway, no. Uh, we're playing Phantasmagoria, and I, I have to say, this is not the most flattering image of uh, of Victoria's face here. Um, she's kind of got that look of somebody, uh, you know, who had died via Sadako in the fucking ring. I'm sorry. Just she's got a... Vacant holes where her, fa- where her mouth and eyes should be. Yeah, she's got a painted store mannequin vibe. I think, yeah. I think she looks fine. <laughs> no, you're right. You're it right. was just where the pixels of her face were sitting. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, like these are this looks fine. This looks great. Oh yeah. We're we're a big fan of Adrian here at uh, uh, here at level zero. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Just a very unflattering like angle, and this one's not so great either, honestly. But. Anyway, there was no reason for me to be in that room. Apparently, let's go downstairs. It uh, it kind of shows you um, the the rasterization process of turning non pixel art into pixel art. 
when you're doing it in bulk, yeah. you get some unflattering shit. Mm-hmm. Eyes too high yeah, and things like that. Automation is, yeah, is an imperfect process for certain. You really get a lot of weird wobble on the pixels of her face here. That That is actually something that AI might be useful for. Oh. Fixing your phone, sir. <laughs> yes. I think you better leave. You guys gonna pay me, or you know, I'll just send you the bill. Don't worry about it. I'll do more than that, Don. Use the hammer. Oh, the chapter Ela, is finished. Quick. Is this the first chapter or what? I, don't, I haven't watched back enough to know. And oh I, no, this is chapter. That was the end of chapter four. Whoa! I actually did watch this all back in the day, but I don't remember anything. <gasps> October twenty onest. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh, let's check if this year we have a Friday, October twenty onest. No, we don't. We have a Saturday, October 21. Oh, God. Are we crying oh. blood? Oh, gee. The old crying blood trick. <laughs> Don's just over us dripping strawberry jam over our face. Nope. Don't worry. It's Yesterday, I was possessed by a mad ghost, but today I'm a silly ghost. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very Thank small you. watch. She's, oh my god, she slept in her sleep. Oh. Till 8 30? Oh god. Can you imagine? (laughs) See, like, that outfit in the last scene, I would have said, looked like it was a comfy outfit to go do chores and putter around the house. But if you slept in it and got up the next day, no longer a comfy outfit. No. It'd be bunching up on you and just, woof. And your dirty white sneakers, too, on the bed. She. Mm-hmm. She packed one outfit when she moved. She owns one outfit. It's fine. Get some work done. Get on their putes. Contact That's a good idea. Contact your friend. Could you please refrain from calling the computer the putes? <laughs> get, on, get on the putes and contact Bologna. How about the pooter? How about get on the pooter? What the fuck? Get out. I see trust. Oh, does that? Yeah, get out. Do not. D- do not. Dip shit. Dip. <laughs> do not trust Lee's you. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's backward for weasels. <gasps> Ooh, it's weasel. <laughs> You're right. Do not trust weasel. Interesting. Do not trust the weasel. He'll be wheezing the <laughs> juice. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't worry. Hey, is Polly Shore in this? <laughs> it would be great. I think Polly Shore should be in more videos. I think so. Was he in any? No. I don't know. He probably... We could change that. I, <sighs> I, 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 I bet you anything Polly Shore in 1995 thought that this was beneath him. <laughs> Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. He was real big at one time, right? He was big. You know, and the oh, thing yeah, is, yeah. in 95, it probably was. And I hate I hate that. I hate that we live in that <laughs> world. <laughs> uh, so how come we don't just get out? That's a good question. I, we could. Why couldn't we just leave? I mean, all we have to do is, like, click the car and then end the game while mm. it, after the fade to black. Yeah, perfect. You know? Self-imposed good ending. We'll go. We'll go stay with our sister in state name, whatever. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, like I guess, like we we bought this house. We are in a marriage. Like maybe those. That's what's keeping us here. It's it's that or the desire to solve the mystery of the ghost magician. But I don't know. Th- that doesn't seem like enough to me. <laughs> no, it really doesn't. None of those. None of those things. What's her husband's name either. again? Dawn. Bam Dawn. Bam. Dawn. Dawn. Yeah, I yeah, he wouldn't keep me here for a second. No. No. Uh, like fixing up a mansion is a chore. And if your relationship just disintegrated as soon as you moved in, like I I would find the thought of not having to renovate a mansion kind of a relief. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm going to say something about this game. They didn't give us enough good times with Dawn. No. Uh, like No, yeah. They, they f- like, made the classic mistake of, like, never giving you a good reason to like somebody before they made them unlikable. Yeah, we had, like... We had, like, one scene with him where it was like, aw, aw, look at these guys. Yeah, they're sweet. Yeah, they dry humped for a little while, you know, and then <laughs> yeah. it was like... It's kind of like Attack of the Clones problem, isn't it? Where he's always a creep. And... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was a child and then he was a creep. <laughs> it's Earlier, exactly ever- when we found the lady crammed into the clay pot, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That would be well, hard to do. About. Yeah, unless oh, yeah. unless he yeah. were a mad ghost. Hey, that mirror is doing some shit. It sure is. Sorry, I had to take a drink of water. Hey, you know, I get it. We got a fade out this time. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> This song rocks. I love it. I'm using a... I'm gonna break your neck. I'm gonna... Oh. I have this... This machine. Oh, I'm gonna turn... No! Let's just turn... That machine was quite effective. What a convoluted way to kill someone. <laughs> Just a head vice that you then... The old rotating head vice trick. Rotate the neck until it breaks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that mechanism involved all of the basic machines. Like <laughs> levers and bullies. <laughs> There's lots of chains. Just a, a, good, a good amount of... Ch- Threaded bits. I love yep. that she woke up at 8.30 and was like, I'm going to go and watch the mirror death. Now I'm going to go into the child's room and look at the ectoplasmic blob, baby. This is her routine now, yeah. <laughs> Wait, we didn't look at the ectoplasmic blob, baby. No, we didn't. I wasn't there where I needed to go. All right. We could have, though. Maybe the reason she's not leaving is she's having all these terrible visions and she thinks to herself, I'm not good to drive right now. (laughs) (laughs) Did Don not sleep? I guess he didn't. No, Don lives in his little dark room. Don Knotts? Don Knotts? (laughs) Did Don not sleep? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Drew Barrymore? Oh, Drew Barrymore? I've never done a Don Knotts impression. Thank God. Let's pray you never do. Let's let's pray I never have to. <laughs> let's pray it never comes to that. <laughs> let's not back ourselves into that corner. Yeah, no. Leonora. Is she the one that had her head just ripped around? Yeah. Wow. That was Leonora just now. Wow, she got a couple paintings wow. done before her. She was she was murdered. Before she got carnivashed. Carnivashed. <laughs> the the guillotine was invented, um, uh, for um, because it was quick. It was a quick, mm-hmm. efficient way to reliably kill someone. Mm-hmm. Um, the extent to which it was used shortly after its invention was very inhumane, but it was uh, sort of an invention for killing people as humanely as possible. That apparatus we just saw was kind of a reverse mm-hmm. guillotine, mm-hmm. where it's like slow and pointlessly painful and grotesque. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think there's a Paris connection here? Because he went to Paris and did he Ooh, learn? Ooh, yeah. He's like, that oh, kind of stuff. That maybe it's, uh, 
He's possessed by the ghost of uh, Mr. Guillotine. I forget his first name. Bob. Mr. Guillotine. Bob, Bob Guillotine. Wasn't it invented by uh, a guy named Guillotine? Maybe I'm misremembering that. Know, maybe. Oh, that's the bedroom. I'm looking for another mirror here. I'm just going to wander Man, around. Maybe we can, maybe we can we, uh, find out how he murdered everybody. It's kind of what's going to happen. Yeah. <coughs> There's a mirror over here. Yeah, there are mirrors. This one's not. Uh, this one's not doing the. This one's not flubly. No. Mm. This one's yeah, not doing the mist unsolved mysteries. Uh, mist yet. <laughs> Update. Update. <laughs> Rest in peace, Bob Stack. Yeah. Your uh, update there sounded like Scooby Doo doing Update! Voice of update! <laughs> Raggy! <laughs> Rup rate! Uh, yeah, uh, Joseph uh, Ignace Guillotine. I was close. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was close. I thought it was Bob. But Joseph, Bob, you know. He proposed Joe, Joe uh, in 1789 the use of a special device to carry out executions in France in a more humane manner. Mm hmm. I, that that you know, yeah. What is this? What is this again? What is this thing? Yeah, she doesn't know either. Put hand in it. Probably shouldn't. Place hand well. in dragon blender. <laughs> dragon blender. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Looks like a dragon blender. Ah. Uh, hey everybody, uh, give us your questions for horror. Questions for <laughs> horror. Did we had we had a better. We had well, a better, yeah, I was gonna ask. Is it was it called that last time? I don't remember. We had a better no. name for it. Uh, I'll be goddamned if I can remember what it was. Questions for gory. Questions for oh, gory, of course. Gosh. God yeah. damn it! What the hell's wrong with me? My brain is. I got COVID brain. I got COVID. I gotta get on the mushrooms, guys. I gotta get on the lions. Mushrooms. I gotta get some lions mane mushrooms. Make my brain work again. Oh, is that, are they good for brains, those ones? Those ones are, yeah. Cool. Get yourself some lion's mane mushrooms if you want to get good at braining again. <laughs> I need it. I couldn't even remember questions for Gory. There's no more mirrors upstairs, Luke. Yeah, no, I've been everywhere. It's just none. Just, just none. none. Zero. The, there is no mirror stone here. <gasps> There's one! one. Ooh, yes. Time for another gory Ooh. scene. Another gory scene. It's just a different person in the head twisting machine. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. Just a montage of him gleefully twisting off people's heads. <laughs> oh, man. That is not the proper use of a gramophone. Rhubarb. Did he just say moo? Mm, I think. Ooh. Giblets and marinara sauce, huh? Giblets and mar. Pork. Sweet and sour tripe. Oh, Ooh. he's feeding her guts. She can't turn away. That that's a that's a snake. That's intestines. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Sausage links at least. Don't be an idiot. Man. He's so disappointed at how quickly she died. It's like, oh, that was too fast. I might as well have regular killed her. <laughs> Should have used the <laughs> head twisting machine. God damn it. Uh, watch let's out, Adrian. Let's go, yeah, let's go check on Don. Good idea. Don? 
on? Oh, man. You in there? She's about as interested in seeing him as we are. <sighs> She's just hoping he's dead or something, I think. We all he might are. Be dead. He's not we... answering the door. He just spun himself that. a ghost cocoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A ghost pupa? Mm -hmm. He's going to hatch into a moth man. So many good band mains, names being uh, bandied about right now. Ghost bandied cocoon. About. Ghost cocoon. <laughs> also, moth man, apart from being a popular cryptid, would uh, also be a good band name. Yeah, I agree. Especially if it's spelled M A U T H, M A H N, Mouth Man. Mouth man. <laughs> no fucky mirrors in here. Not at the moment, no. Nice rug. Hey, the Monopoly's on the floor by the bed. Go pick it up. Let's go play it. Let's go play, play single-player Monopoly. I'll go, go to charging cable. Just what I need. Just what, just what she needs. The saddest game of all. <laughs> Solo Monopoly. So <laughs> oh, sweet. Any big fucking cigarettes? They're called cigars. <laughs> there used to be three in there. Oh. Oh, no. Did somebody remember something? Did Zahn... No. It's it's written in the oh. uh, in the walkthrough that oh. I'm looking at. Oh, how oh, nice! Nice, nice. Yeah. yeah. We don't need walkthroughs, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. Technically, I could just keep wandering around and clicking. No, until I, stuff happens. no. I like it. <laughs> Go pick up Monopoly. Look, it's the it's the '80s version too, or is it? Sorry, it's hard to tell. It could be Game of Life. Oh, it's Game of Life. It's not Mouse Trap. It's not thick enough. <laughs> that I'm sure of. <laughs> How about playing Game of Life yeah, by yourself yeah. for sadness oh, points? Oh, that is also sad, yeah. <laughs> it is a game that you could play on your own, though, mm -hmm. technically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Game of Life is less sad than Solo Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> This is true because I guess you do need to like ghost play other people. Speaking of ghosts, like like yeah, game of life, it's it's <laughs> possible to fail with no other player interaction. As a matter of fact, the only player interaction in game of life really is who wins or loses first. Yeah, like yeah, you, that's you true. could you could just see what your life is. You could just mm -hmm. keep spinning the wheel and see what your life turns out to be. Um, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like doing it's like some sort of weird divination. Like giving yourself a tarot reading. Aren't yeah. you supposed to get to the end first, though? Is it like a like you're supposed to get there at the end? Like, is that yeah, the win condition? I mean, that's that's how they shoehorned multiplayer into the game. Okay, <laughs> shoehorned multiplayer. <laughs> they patched it. It was a day one patch. <laughs> it's not a great game, is it? Though then, no, it's fine. It's not, and you know. I I recall not hating it. I like the little yeah, it's spinner. Fine. It's, it's and, cute. It is. It is uh, cute. The spinner for sure. Especially if like you're playing with like siblings and stuff. The limited ability to fuck each other over makes it a much more <laughs> civil process <laughs> than see. like risk. Or like mm -hmm. sorry, sorry is a is a bad one for mm -hmm. for siblings. Yeah, I mean, like in Game of Life, you can kind of lock people out of other paths and stuff like that. Like if you get to something that they wanted first and, th and so on. So like technically there are like there is some competitive part to it, but it's really very like surface level. Holy shit. I need to check for questions for Gory from last year. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. Good oh, luck. my God. I almost forgot. So I guess what you're saying is that a game of life was ingeniously developed and designed so it would be a game where, yeah, you don't get into fights with your, your family and friends. I don't know if it was designed that way, but it panned out that way. I think that's great. Yeah. I turned, totally, totally changed my mind about game of life. What did he just say? Come get Come a bond. Come to the bar. Come get a oh, bond. Okay. okay. Come get a bond. 
I, I think it has something to do with the, uh, oh, the seance. Oh, okay. Thank you, Zai. Come to the barn. I'll close the door so you have to reopen it mm -hmm. to come out, too. Oh, well, he's Cyrus. You know, he's a little different. <laughs> That's a generous description of him. A little different. Oh, my God. Ten months ago. We have to get our daily fortune from, uh, from the soul. Oh, fortune yeah. Teller. I still want to be big. Be great if she turned her hand around and gave you the middle finger, and then it came out. Hey, uh, did you know in in episode ten? Oh fuck! I'll just you know, know. Yeah, I'll know. That's great, great, great fortune. For episode ten of something. Go ahead. Episode ten, last last uh, last year, the last episode we did. Uh, was uh, we actually got a, a comment from Julia? Oh, oh hey. <laughs> hey, how about that? Hey, look at that! Now you're with us. So read Julia's words back to her. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I, we must have talked about you. Oh, yeah. Huh. That's that it. <laughs> Lovely to see you again. Oh, okay. I look forward to seeing Horror Month every year. And now look at you. Now look, oh, look at you. Look at that. Oh, that's great. Now you don't get to see Horror Month. You get to be Horror Month. You get to be it. Oh, we also have a question for Gory from uh, from Idris. All right, Idris. One year later, question for Gory. One... Let's go. <laughs> one year later. Holy shit. Okay, here we go. Uh, if you were to do we we don't have a question for Gore. We don't we don't need one. We don't need one. We play this once a year. If we ask for it, twelve ops gonna come. Through I know. And it's gonna, I know. Yeah. I know. I'm not gonna ask for it. Twelve op. Don't no, don't no, waste your time. Go. Don't waste your time. A question for Gory. <laughs> there you go. If you were to create a Captain America like hero for other countries, what rank would they be, and what actor would you get to play them? So, for instance, Lieutenant Canada, played by 90s Paul Gross. That's a good one. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. um, 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 Sorry, I missed the start of the question. Okay, so, you know, you know, like, if you have to make a Captain America, but, uh -huh. but for other countries, uh, okay. who would you cast? Gotcha. Well, yeah, yeah, and who would... The, uh, in... Yeah. in uh, in Captain America's own canon, many other countries do have their own Captain America. Yeah. And generally, they are just called Captain whatever. Captain Britain, Captain, Captain Canada. Canada. Captain Britain. I remember Captain Britain. He was the leader of X-Force. Or Excalibur. Yeah, yeah. I read a couple of his comics, and they were they're, they're pretty good. Yeah. I, had, I had no complaints. I, I thought Excalibur was a good series. Uh, I used to read that one mm -hmm. more than I'd ever read X-Men. It was like Nightcrawler and Captain Britain and like Shadowcat. It's a good party. Good party. Good group, you know, good uh, superhero team. Good group of kids. <laughs> good group of kids. Nice group of kids. Good group of kids. We're real happy with them. Uh, I don't know. You got, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Michael Fassbender is uh, Dr. Germany. <laughs> <laughs> doctor Jeremy. Doctor is a rank. <laughs> Field doctor? Field doctor. Well, if we can use any honorific, it would be funny to have like Reverend Canada. <laughs> Reverend Canada? <laughs> John Candy as refer Reverend oh, Canada. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I, you know. Uh, uh, man, we're so unprepared for this. Mm -hmm. It's been a year. John We've had Candy a year to deal with this. To deal with it. It's hard to eat. I have this weird deja vu, like we've answered this question before or maybe, discussed it before. Maybe we have. Maybe we. Because I. It's entirely possible. But it's been a year, so our answers are going to be different. My first instinct was to ask is there a uniquely Canadian rank? And Lieutenant. I have this weird. Yeah, I have this weird memory of us discussing the rank of lieutenant. Yes, I think yeah. I think we did do this. Yeah. Well, well we talked about the. the we well, talked about Lieutenant Colonel's in Bequestion. Colonel's Bequest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Maybe that's what it comes from. Just a from. couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah. what the hell? It's all coming <laughs> I, around. I guess Lieutenant Canada would be a, about as Canadian as you can get. Yes. And then you'd, you'd just need a a, a Canadian person. I mean, to, to be per- yeah, John Candy. To be fair... Yeah. Uh, Idris said 90s Paul Gross is, li- is li- Lieutenant C- Canada. So, well, he, he spelled it Lieutenant, but all, we all know that's not how you, spe- you say it in Canada. Also, Constable's a big one here. Holy shit, eh? What? Constable, Const- Constable Canada. I think Constable, Constable Canada, you'd want to yeah. use for... Constable Canada does sound good, but I think Constable is probably even bigger in, in the UK. Yeah, and you already get the alliteration <laughs> of the Captain Canada. Yeah. With fewer syllables. Yeah. Um, Besides, like, I think our Navy is probably our strongest sort of group. So it'd be like maybe Commodore Canada. Can we get hmm? Can we get Salma Hayek as a uh, as a as Captain Canada as a <laughs> Captain Canada <laughs> as a Colonel Mexico <laughs> Colonel Mexico <laughs> Colonel. Major Mexico. Major Mexico. Wow. It's just kind of a low rank, though. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know Spanish ranks, though. Yeah, we need. Okay, so now let's. Go, yeah, you're right. Let's go straight up. Uh, Spanish actors, like from Spain, from the '90s, from Spain, from España. Espanol. Ricardo Montalban. Ricardo Montalban. Exactly. Javier Bardem. Javier Bardem would make a great superhero. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pino- Especially if he did his, like, you know, um, Anton Sugar thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Penelope Cruz. <laughs> Penelope Cruz. <laughs> who, who would we get to play Commodore France? Ooh, that's a good one. Gerard Depardieu. I was going to say, like, the only, like, Frenchman <laughs> I can think of off the Gerard top. Gerard you know. Depardieu. <laughs> From the 90s? Yeah. Oh, mon dieu! <laughs> that's a, a, in every movie, Gerard Depardieu does that. He says, oh, mon dieu! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is there anyone else in France back in the 90s? No, I mean, there's, there's, there's Vincent Castle. He's been in some oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he's real big. He's yeah, real yeah. big. Jean Reno, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Just those three. That's it. I mean, I'm sure they have a lot of actors who are really like popular in France. But I'll be was, um, I'll be goddamned if I know. What was the name of the guy in Highlander? Um, Christopher Lambert. Jean- <laughs> Christopher Lambert. There you go. Oh my god! Oh, and, and Jean Claude Van Damme. He's Belgian. He's Belgian. Oh man, Jean Claude Van Damme as he's Commodore the muscles from Brussels. Yeah, he would have to be. He would. He's the muscles from Brussels. He'd have to be Belgian. The muscles from Brussels. Yeah, there you go. he yeah. could be Commodore Belgian. Yeah. Commodore Belgian, Beljo, Belgia, <laughs> Belgia, <laughs> the root name of the country. Mm, yeah, from from the great nation of Belgia. <laughs> It, it, it's a much cooler name than Belgium. Does, does 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 Waffen work into any of the ranks? Because he could be the Belgian Waffen something. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah, Christopher Lambert is is fucking. He's French. You're right. Yeah, up mine. Lambert. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. There's no. There, there, where? How come we're not getting any? Uh, how, how come we're not getting any young talent out of France? <laughs> is Timothée Chalamet? Is he French? Timothée Chalamet. Well, he's American and French. Oh. He's from American. <laughs> <laughs> he's a mensch. Ooh, a mensch. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, he'd, he'd be good there. Some random kid with weird hair. Hey, look, he's a very talented actor. Sure. Don't say sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's... Uh, All I know him from is Dune and his weird hair. He was great in Dune. He was great in Dune. Yeah. He's, fuck, true. he's fucking great. Yeah. I'm saying he wasn't great in Dune. I'm not going to put up with any shit against <laughs> Timothy Chalamet in this fucking channel. <laughs> 
<laughs> Handsome kid. Real yeah. unique looking face. Good looking kid. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we probably answered this last year. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> anyway, we we're, we're expanding our horizons here a little bit, though. Yeah, you're right. We're 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 we're, we're going crazy on that question. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm putting uh, Sanada Hiroyuki up for uh, you know some 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 rank in Japan. Uh, yeah, the Shogun. <laughs> J- uh, J- no, <laughs> it's gone. Got nothing. Got nothing. It's done. I'm over. It's over. Uh, Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, leave us your questions. Should we go see a seance before we leave? Leave before us. We finish? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. G- give us your questions for Gory, though. Seriously. Yeah. Which send your uh, questions for which Gory. It's which horrible. which country are we going to saddle with Rear Admiral? Oh, uh, <laughs> Russia. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> uh, who are some Russian actors? That's a hard one, eh? If they if they don't want their superhero to be uh, Rear Admiral, then they gotta cool it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there were some there were some famous Russian actors in the nineties. Uh... Oh yeah. Go ahead. Name one. I'm sure there were. Go ahead. Name one. Go ahead. Do it. Dolph Lundgren is not Russian, is he? No. Oh, no. Yeah. He's German. I, I think, I, isn't yeah. he? Um, Schwarzenegger is uh, Austrian, Austrian, right? Yes, yeah. Austrian. Uh, Schwarzenegger is he, Austrian. He, yeah. he, he could be Admiral Austria. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. Admiral Austria. Love it. Any one of those... Uh, any one of those uh, uh, Skarsgård kids could be, uh, oh, sure. could be uh, what, Sweden? And What's any the... Hemsworth could be an Australian. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that was easy. Yeah. I I like Salma Hayek, though, as Major Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> still, my, still my choice. Oh, no. What? is this did he turn his mom into a what's it's, happening into a sail he turned his mom into he a turned sack. harriet into a sail now like remember. he pounded her flat and stretched her across a, a line what i love that's your first thought <laughs> is that that curtain was a person <laughs> she looks less gnome like It doesn't uh, take much to look less dumb like than she, <laughs> than she did, to be fair. Her her boa there is reading as intestines to me. Mm-hmm. Well, especially after that, that yeah. death we just watched. Oh, God. Oh, elusive spirit. Of the netherworld, heed us now. Talk Seems out of character for Harriet. <laughs> I love that she looked at the camera. She's like, are you seeing this? <laughs> Give us a sign of your spiritual being. Spiritual bees? Yep, spiritual bees. I think they're biting. See, they're biting. Questions unknown. You just got to. Oh no. Oh yeah, ectoplasm. That's great. Classic. Hi. Hi. 
and open the door to the dark dimension. I release an obscenity, an entity of pure evil. He was French. Here's a mime. <laughs> But now the pestilence is free to infect once more. You are the chosen one. Only you can send it back. Only you can bring balance to the force. Find the dragon. Only you. It will show the way. The dragon? We already like know it. where the dragon is. It's, it's in, in your shitty fucking husband. Goodbye. <laughs> what? what happened? Your boogers talked. You don't know? No what? Harriet, you did it. You really did it. You barfed up a magician. <laughs> I wouldn't touch your fucking leg. We're going on the road. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody, that's enough. <laughs> Bye. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Click. Click. Done. <laughs> Leave us your questions for Gory. Look. Uh, look. Okay. I get it. Look, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Hit that <laughs> smash button and like that comment. G no. Give us a... S look, like that bell. Smash <laughs> that subscribe. Yeah. Comment. Hit that sus bell comment. It really helps the channel. <laughs> 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 Look, I can understand if you watched episode 9 and 10 of Phantasmagoria and got to 11 and 12 here and you're like, what the fuck happened? What's wrong with them? <laughs> like, you know, it's been a year for us, but also, like, we've changed the format of the show considerably over the last year. <laughs> <laughs> Note that we're 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 now an hour and a half in to playing this. We never would have done that last year. Oh God, let's see, let's see. I bet you I'm right. Uh, I feel like we started our downward spiral sooner than a year ago. Yeah, or more Aww. like long longer than a year. No, ago like at this point, yeah, it's it's actually true. Like like the last episode, episode ten of Phantasmagoria was was 34 minutes. But that's like short there for you. us these these days. It is. That's true. That's about yeah. It's like okay, you know, we're we're now we feel safe closing an episode out, kind of. Well, because we, you know, one. I think we get as we get as much playing done. We just, you know, yeah, waste more time. You're getting about as much game in an episode. You're just getting a lot more of us otherwise. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna let's get uh let's get Victoria. Back on, on back on the back on the channel. <laughs> back on the show like she's ever been here before. Uh yeah, let's do it. Let's make it happen. I'll make some phone calls. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go for it. Call her agent. Get on that. I'll get on it. We got a lot done in this this episode, I gotta say, these these last two. I, I think Oh yeah. Yeah. We're moving. We're we're rolling forward. Yeah. Gradually. Gradually. But we're doing it. We're doing it. Uh, uh, I'm proud of us. Mm -hmm. it's, Me it, too. It, having Julia here is really helping us yeah. out. Oh, you it's guys. True. It's true. It's so uh, good to be here. All right. All right. Uh, all right, killers. You know what to do. <laughs> uh, help the channel out. It really helps the channel. The channel. Help us out. It really helps. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good. Give us your questions for Gory. They don't have to be Gory. It could be anything. No, that's fine. Really, they we just name them, but there is no real theme to the questions. There hasn't been since about halfway through Quest for Glory. So yeah. Anyway, smash I mean, a comment, like reason. that bell. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, do, do we have a question for them? No. Do we have a, <laughs> do we have homework for them this do week? We have, I don't know. It didn't happen organically. It's gonna feel forced now. Right. Right. 
Maybe I'm wrong. Am I wrong? Guys, am I wrong? I don't know. Uh, I don't answer my question. If, if we if we came up with homework for you, <laughs> answer my question. <laughs> am I wrong? If you guys uh, put it in the comments below, if you think I'm wrong, and putting a question for homework would be uh, unorganic and weird and d- disingenuous. What do you think? <laughs> Anyway. This is easily the most confusing homework you've ever assigned. <laughs> I don't even understand the assignment. I don't even. Don't do anything. Just can I give us your so question. You say, everyone. Can I give your it? homework is to do nothing. Your homework is to remain sedentary between this and next week. <laughs> your, 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 your homework is to have a better week than I have had. I'm going to try to be in a better mood next week. You did, um, you did, you did great, Alex. For all you. The, you the shit that you went through, I'm, I'm, I, I think you did great. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. You did wonderfully. <laughs> the house beckons you. That's 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 my homework for everyone. Have a have a just have a good week. You know, order some food that you like. Spend some time with your loved ones. Don't spend sixteen to twenty hours on the phone with Bella Lion only to get shitty internet that doesn't work. Because <laughs> they don't love you. They don't. No, love they don't. You. They don't love they're, you. No, they're not worth your time. They're not. Uh, I think they love me though. <laughs> they might love you. They might love you. You had a very different experience. I, I did. Actually, I haven't had a deal with them for like two years, so I, I don't know. Things might be different now. Who knows? Oh, okay. uh, hey, thanks everybody. Stick uh, and or stay. Stick. No, or you stay. have to do both. What's the balance? One another out. What's the thing opposite the skull? That's how we look at things. What? Oh, I see. Really? How do you... D- oh, oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. But I thought that's what the skull did. He told us what those were. No, the skull tells us what things are. An old hammer. But, but the eye allows us to... Oh, okay. Look at it. Right. Oh. That couldn't have been combined and in on one thing at all. on rare occasion, you actually have to do this so that you can like open a thing or whatever. I love it. It's perfect. <sighs> all right, we're going to go now. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. See you next week, everybody. I gotta Bye. Get I gotta, you know, I gotta go. I gotta go to bed. I gotta get Stick. take my goddamn kids to school. Stick or stay. Stick and stay. Both. Yeah. St- I like Have stick or stay. Stick or stay. Don't do both. Oh yeah, happy happy Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, oh, how about Canadian that? Thanksgiving, oh yeah, happy everyone. Canadian Thanksgiving. Happy Canadian Thanksgiving. Yeah. 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 Have some toiki if toiki is a thing you like. Yeah. Yep. Bye. Bye. Yep. Stopping the recording. I don't think our Thanksgiving is as racist as other. I was just <laughs> I was just gonna ask whether Thanksgiving was one of those holidays that sort of maybe let's not talk about those oh, anymore. Oops. No, I think it's fine. Yeah, I mean we don't mean I think it's a, it that I, way I, anyway. I think Canada Day is more is more fraught. Yeah, mm. that one's that one's yeah, definitely yeah. fraught. I'm stopping my recording now. Yeah, me too. (laughs) On that note.